Oh, you got... oh October 5th, 2009. DVD update. Guys, these are getting out of hand. Oh, I've got too many titles and a lot of them aren't even worth showing, but I'm going to do it anyways. First off, this one's worth showing. I already had this DVD, the double disc, but uh, Ms. Poole for my birthday sent me a nice hard box. So I only have one other hard box, and this is an XT video. Eating Alive. It's a pretty cool movie, by the way, Toby Hooper. Uh, Robert England's in it, which is cool. He's a sex maniac. Cool movie. Awesome stuff. I've got a chance to watch this DVD release. Hell, I haven't even got a chance to watch my Dark Sky release. Uh, maybe I need to get to I need to get to watch him. Someone needs to like clockwork orange me and put like a thousand horror movies on my shelves. But yeah, thanks a lot, Miss Pool. Your package should be I'll send it Monday. Uh, next one. Tale of Two Sisters, double disc. Have not watched it. Heard good things from Eight the Chosen One. And my buddy always recommended this movie highly. Not seen it. Hanging Woman, Troma, new one, Paul Nashy. Haven't seen it. It was like really cheap, brand new. Let's see that, just in case. White case. Classy trauma. A dollar for virus. Never seen it. I picked it up because it was a dollar. I don't know if it's any good. SSL Hell SS Hell Camp. Picked it up, wanted to, uh, you know, beef up my Nazi exploitation collection. Of course, Exploitation Digital. This one by the director of Shattered Dead, 16 Tongues. Looks pretty wild. I know Shattered Dead was insane. Scooter McCrane, he's also in uh, Bloodletting. Next one here I picked up because Jar Shut and uh, Extra the Mutilator both got a copy and I couldn't live without one. I'd never seen this movie. I really wanted to see it. It really intrigued me. Uh, Charles Bronson, White Bluffwell, shit from Australia. Nice release, MGM on there. I like these little weird things that the Australian DVDs have on them. But yeah, I don't know if anyone else got a slipcover or I meant an uh, insert, but I didn't. Next here, got a little early. Uh, the Gate, watched it. Oh, I've seen this a long time ago. I used to watch this kid all the time. Special features on here are pretty damn cool. A couple interviews with the director and writer and everything. And uh, the guy who designed the creatures. Fun movie. Still holds up today. I mean, it's actually spooky for a kid's movie. Actually scary. A lot of fun. It looks way better in CGI, I'll tell you that. I didn't watch it with the commentary yet. I picked this up because I liked Evolution. Cemetery Gates. Same writer. It looks like a lot of fun. Tasmanian Devil on steroids. Killing people. Classic. Uh, the director, or the writer actually said it was like uh, Winnie the Pooh meets, uh, what was that? Oh, Jesus, Winnie the Pooh meets something, and I just started cracking up. But yeah, uh, Pumpkin Head Collector's Edition. It looks like slip covers are rare for this because out of three people that ordered it, I know, like, me and, I don't think DVD Fiend got one. I know Ms. Pool didn't get one. I didn't get a slip cover either. Yeah, but I didn't get a slip cover. Kind of weird. Sucks. Great movie, though. <clears throat> Finally, after three times, I get the unrated edition of Wizard of Gore, the remake. Still haven't watched it. Now they're 250 for Quarantine. I liked Wreck, and you still need to pick up Wreck, so I think Quarantine remake, why not 250? I've had my eye on this one for a long time, Time After Time, with David Warner and Malcolm McDowell. Warner Brothers release. Looks cool. These two, I uh, hear bad things, but why not? In Trails of a Beautiful World, Woman, and In Trails of a Virgin. Both uh, Asian kind of extreme movies. Picked them up. Want to check them out. Uh, next one here is a really good movie. I saw the theater version a long time ago on VHS. Now, Scum. Awesome British prison movie. For youth, I guess. Real good movie. We got a scrapbook here. Serial killer movie. Really disturbing. Very, very uh, psychological stuff. Did a review for it on The Fiends. Good movie. <clears throat> then we got one here that Ten My Eye Forever. Tony Randall, director of... Hellraiser 2 and Ticks, Children of the Night. This DVD is uh, out of print. Sometimes it could fetch a pretty penny. I got a good deal on it. I mean, it probably goes for like 15 bucks. But yeah, Columbia Trackstar. Looks really nice. Another one here, uh, Mondo Macabro DVD, Satan's Blood. Not seen this. Looks pretty wild. All their DVDs look wild. All their movies are insane. So, Satan's Blood. This one, S. Wang. Aswang. I'm, I have terrible pronunciation skills. Yeah, this is the director's cut. Here, this movie's pretty insane. I know Cinema Apocalypse did a review. Again, Mondo, Mondo Macabro. And then, the next DVDs are a bunch of Big Lots horror movie buys, and then after that, they won't be horror movies. So, if you guys uh, want to tune out, go right ahead. I'm going to go through these fast. Revenge of Frankenstein. Not seen it. Hammer stuff. Albert Hitchcock Classic. Haven't seen it. House on a Haunted Hill. I have this, the colorized version. 
but I don't have the colorized version. This one comes with commentary by the guy from uh, Mystery Science Theater. Looks awesome. Budget Films. Dracula, Prince of Darkness. I mean, these ones are so cheap I grabbed them. Maybe I grabbed too many. Uh, Green Butchers. Looks like uh, it could be really good. Said in the vein of Delicatessen and uh, Eating Raul, so why not? Outpost. It had my eye on this one forever. When I saw it for three bucks, had to get it. Nazi Zombies. Dead End Road. Mm, this looked very interesting. That's all I can. I don't know. Egg and Hour Post Off. Something like that. And then we got the decoy movies, one and two. Uh, people recommended them to me, so why not? For five bucks for both of them, why not? Basically for me, the discount. Frank and Fish. Yeah, somebody told me to get this one. Uh, how do you say his name? C-I-Z-M-O-Z-Z-E-N. So I figured why not for that price. Had to grab it. Uh, anatomy. Anatomy. Anatomy, never seen this, but that skeleton on the back kind of sucked me in for $2.50. And then we got here, what else? We got Bats, the sequel. I thought it was the first one I actually grabbed it. I don't even have the original. I think I've seen the original a long time ago. Incubus, unrated. Looks terrible. I don't know why I grabbed it. And then here's another one, uh, Premonition with Chris Floyd and uh, Adrian Paul. Remember this old Arsenal DVD commercial, so I grabbed it. I mean, why not? This next one here, Possession of Joel Delaney. I figured, why not? Three bucks, Legend Films, had to get it. I actually ordered this one already, and it's in, on its way, but three bucks, I figured, why not have two? Chupacabra Tear. Never seen. Looks really cheesy. Two fifty. I think it's worth a laugh. And I already had this one too, but for that price, I had to grab it. If I die before I wait, three dollars. Had to get it. The next one's here. Oh, almost wiped out right there. Aren't horror movies, so tune out if you don't want to see. X Men. My buddy uh, Justin X Zero sent this. Awesome. Nice two disc set. And then we got Alien from L.A. I figured, why not? Looked like it might be fun. And then. I don't know what I was thinking, but people were talking about this. All my friends was, were talking about this, and I Casper. I thought, you know, maybe in the Hollywood spirit, I'd watch Casper again. I don't know. Sniper. I always liked this movie as a kid. Nah, I haven't seen it in a long time. I think I'll enjoy it. Three bucks. Why not? And then I saw these, and I was like, yes! UFC. This is awesome. Three bucks. The Liddell uh, Couture trilogy. All the fights on there. It's a digipack. Looks nice. For three bucks, you can't pass that up. It's thick. Looks nice. Awesome. And then this one. Some more UFC fights. Uh... Franklin in there. Why not? Porsche Griffin. Three books. Why not? That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.